10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour. Here we go, um, Erasmus, day one, it's half past seven in the morning. On a very quiet Santa Cruz. Um, I'm just waiting for a tram to take me to the university. It's about a 40 minute tram ride, I think. So um, I'm actually quite excited. Choo choo. was marvellous. Um, yeah, about a dozen people from different countries. I'm the only bloke though. It's like all women. Uh, but it's nice, very friendly. Um, yeah, very, very nice, very good. It's about two o'clock. I've just got home. I'm absolutely starving. So I'm going to go out for something to eat, I think. Good morning, it's day four Thursday. I'm just walking up to the uh, the centre where the course is. Um, it's about eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, and it's actually not raining today. The, um, I'm sort of up in the hills here. It's, I think we're about 3,000 feet, about 1,000 metres higher than like, where, I'm, where we're staying. Um, so yeah, the weather's a bit different up here. It's, um, it's all getting really interesting actually. The, um, the, the course is digital storytelling. Um, and I'm, a, I'm a bit of a storyteller, as you know. And uh, yeah, we've been doing um, yesterday. We were doing sort of um, animation and stop motion animation and stuff. It was bloody fantastic. So I'm quite excited about today. Well, lovely morning on the course today. The penultimate day. A couple of hours on the beach, and now we're going to head home in style. Good afternoon. So these are our preferred means of transportation at the moment. We discovered these in Lisbon a few weeks ago. It's dead cool. You um, you download the app and you sort of you, you scan the the QR code and um, yeah, you just you whisk to where you want to go and park it and you get charged about 15 cents a minute. Yeah, it's great fun. It's brilliant. Try and do this without in one hand without killing myself. I think mine was a bit faster than yours. Nice.
us that. All done. It's Friday. It's lunchtime. Um, that was brilliant. Um, I've said this before. Just lovely to be with all people from different countries, um, sharing ideas, getting on with each other, collaborating. Fantastic. Really, really good. Um, yeah, the EU's pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, don't know why. Don't know why the UK left. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm off to buy a couple of sandwiches because um, the Hungarian in Hungary uh, is coming to meet me on the tram uh, and then we're going on a an Erasmus trip to Mount Tady uh, which is the highest mountain in Spain the third highest mountain in Europe I think if I remember correctly so that'll be good so uh, see you in a bit so I've been having to commute every day up to La Laguna which is about a uh, thousand meters up in the mountains it's about a 30 minute tram ride away from where we've been staying um, and but hopefully on this tram is the Hungarian in Hungary. She's come to meet me. Yeah! Oh, it's like brief encounter. Oh, crap. <laughs> Maybe the next one then. Oops. Oh. Yep, yeah, for a while I've wanted to um, do some kind of like animation. You know, uh, a short animation for the start of my, my YouTube channel for every video. And I've never really been sure how to do it. And I've always fancied doing like some sort of stop motion type silly thing, just like five, ten seconds long. And um, I've actually learned how to do it this week. Um, and along with other things like how to animate sort of PowerPoints and, and just other forms of animation. Um, so, yeah, apart from it being a really, really good teaching tool, it's, um, it might help me finally. Uh, do some sort of opening sort of animation for the channel so watch this space in fact if it works you'll have already seen it so <laughs> time travel wonderfully eh? right she's definitely on this one Santa Cruz from several thousand meters. You can just about see the those two office buildings and that wave-shaped auditorium where we were in the swim pool the other day. Yeah, lots of happy memories of these roads in the um, ooh, in the 1990s when I was a really keen cyclist. Uh, yeah, I, I came here for about four or five years straight. Uh, and I had a big block of sort of training in the in the mountains for about a week or so. So uh, I yeah, I know these roads quite well. This is the self preservation society. Ready, Johnny? So there it is. Um, altimeter says six thousand five hundred feet at the minute. That's Puerto de la Cruz, I think, and. Off in the distance is La Palma, I think, one of the seven islands of the archipelago. Yeah, there's that um, story, I don't know if it's an urban myth, that, um, yeah, when the, when the Romans got here, they found that the island was just full of, um, of wild dogs, and that's why, I call, why it's called the Canaries. Nothing to do with, like, white bird, uh, yellow birds. It's, um, like, Canis, Canarias, like, wild dogs. And, um, yeah, I never know if that's true or not. I'll Google it. So there it is. Um, with the cable car, and hopefully if all goes to plan, uh, an hour or so, we'll be right up on the top. Ooh. Yeah, we're kind of getting out of the tree line now. Just looking a bit more... alien. So that's um, Gran Canaria, I think that one. Always. Oh, 
Can oh you God. see them? Yeah. All of them? Ooh. Like mouses. Jurassic Park. <laughs> Oh, oh god, that was a bit close. Ooh. Beer. Beer. And donut at 7,100 feet. Always. What? Oh, it's bleak. Is this a crater? Yeah. Well, I've got to tell you, I'm a bit pissed off because I was expecting to go up there on the cable car. But it's too windy apparently, and we can't. Arse. Um, but I just love these kind of places. I just love the violence. And, uh, yeah, it's just, um, you know, when you see stuff on this kind of scale, it makes you wonder, you know, the stuff we worry about, you know, the, a few parts per billion of carbon dioxide and stuff, and, you know, is it really worth shitting your pants over? It's just staggering. Yeah, we're, we're actually getting, um, like, old hands at volcanoes now. This is our third, um, like, mid-Atlantic volcano tour in, in nine months. Um, nine months. Um, we did Iceland in November. We did the Azores in July. And, and now we're, we're here in Tenerife. And um, I've got to say, that this is definitely the best weather we've had. Oh, back on the bus to go home. Good news is we haven't got to get up early tomorrow, so we can get absolutely smashed tonight. Whoa, whoa, pretty bouncy bus trip. Yeah, we're about 8,000 feet here, just um, just above the cloud. And uh, we're on the north, sort of east side of the island, and the prevailing trade wind is from the northeast, so this time of day, when it gets a bit cooler, the warm, wet air comes from the sea onto the land, adiabatic cooling as it tries to rise over the mountains and it turns to cloud. Yes, meteorology in action. Geology in action. So that's it, Saturday morning. We're around, this is our, our last day in this place we're checking out today. Um, we're going to go have a look around the African market shortly, which has been highly recommended, and then we're going to get a bus down to Los Cristianos, which is our base for the, the second part of the week. Um, death or Glory, part two. Okay, we're here. Great. Uh, we've, we've been warned it's a bit of a pickpocket hotspot, so um, it is a bit of a shame, so we'll have to be careful. Yeah, we're, um, we're between accommodation, so um, I'm dragging this round for a couple of hours. And I've managed to do an amazing repair on the handle after the ham-fisted buffoons that Ryanair broke the handle off. Um, so yeah. Well, I, I gotta say, there's, there's not many Africans. Blimey, that's a lot of fruit and veg. Ooh, more fruit and veg. This is the best one though. This is like it's like one of must be one of Gus Fring's satellite companies. Good. Right, I've got to show you this. We um we left Santa Cruz a day early, and uh, we're sort of like we didn't have accommodation for tonight um, until tomorrow. So last minute Airbnb for sixty euros. Look what we got. Big kitchen. It's huge. It's bloody fantastic.
Oh yeah, and the balcony. Ooh, what if I've got to reach the pool from here? Hmm. Ooh, so, we made it. We is here. I've, I've forgotten what it was like down here, actually. Um, yeah, it's sort of like um, Skegness Blackpool. Uh, but in but about 30 degrees. There's just Brits everywhere, and all you can hear is the sound of Premier League football. But, um, yeah, it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, anyway, yeah, Santa Cruz. To summarise, um, yeah, it's the sort of original, official, traditional Tenerife. Really. Um, if, if you want to do like beaches and karaoke and stuff, then that's not the place to go. But if you want sort of you know, more traditional part of the island, then yeah, definitely recommend it. Anyway, whew, I'm exhausted. Incredible bird, look. I think that's, is that woodpecker? Hello, matey. Yeah. Noise. Awesome. Look, there's even a volcano just there. How cool is that? Kitty, my partner, Hungarian, um, she loves, she's a real Anglophile. Um, and it's quite funny, you know, like, she imagines that all the Brits are like Sherlock Holmes and Charles Darwin and and, uh, and Winston Churchill. Um, and this is the first time she's actually seen Brits in their natural environment. Um, and yeah, just <laughs> quite shocked and disappointed. She said, so, Brits, they come all this way, and then they sit in English pubs, drink English beer, watch English TV, and just talk to other English people. And I said, yeah. And she said, well, what's the point in that? And I like, well, welcome, welcome to my world. Yeah. yeah the other really, really funny thing is, um, uh, she's an English teacher. She's a very, very good English teacher. And she knows English better than me. Um, talks about like stuff in English grammar that I haven't got a clue about and she says but it's your language well, it might be but I don't know but I won't. anyway yeah we were in a, in a pub yesterday and there was um there was Yorkshire um Geordie Dorset I'm guessing uh, Nottingham East Midlands Leicester kind of thing and uh she said, what, what, what are they saying? And she said, I can't, I can't understand anything, you know, what they're saying. And, uh, yeah, it's bizarre, absolutely bizarre. And this is why, whenever, um, whenever I speak to students, they always say, you know, I always ask, like, which do you prefer, like, English or American English? And they always say American English. And I say, why? And it's because, and they always say, because we can always understand what they're saying. And it's, it's true. I, I, I'm, I love the, the different English British accents, but I can imagine how unbelievably difficult that must be. Um, but American is just sort of American, you know. There's not a lot of variation really. But um, yeah, it's one of those things you know you always take for granted and you never, you never really think about. Okay, here we go. Another whale watching extravaganza. Ooh. The Azores trip is um, quite a tough act to follow, but we'll see what happens anyway. Ooh, big boat. Pilot whale. Really close. 
Ricardo, irmão. Two adults and a baby, look. And so yeah, tonight we're gonna do um, we're gonna do Italian, Italian yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. Oof. Bizarre. Ready for Are you a robot too? <laughs> you <don't prefer> me? <laughs> Well, that was a bit weird. <laughs> Here comes the cake. Yay! Thank you. One, zero, eight. Dear guest, your meal is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, so that's it. We've done uh, Mexican, Mongolian, Italian, Spanish, Canarian, English, English. twice, um, Venezuelan. Is that it? Did I say Indian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, not too bad. Very um, very cosmopolitan. At the weekend we'll have Hungarian. Oh yeah, at the weekend we'll have Hungarian. Yeah. I love this light this time of night. Very nice. Well, last night of a fantastic summer we've done. Who? France. England. Um, the Azores. Portugal. Spain. Tenerife. And then back to Hungary tomorrow Egypt in October hopefully and then skiing somewhere over Christmas it's been amazing this could be interesting we've got Madness tribute band and a I think it's or Deep Purple tribute band in the in adjacent pubs it's gonna be quite an evening <laughs> Well, that's actually quite bizarre.